is a key oh. to travel across space and time. <laughs> I will change the future. And just like that, Disney figured out a way to further spit on the main story of this franchise. Here we go. Destroyed, the First Order was. Eliminated, were the Sith. Hey yo, hold up Yoda. Don't you mean the Final Order? The might of the Final Order. That goddamn amnesia. Across the galaxy, peace had spread. Hey, we thought so two, three movies ago. Somehow Palpatine returned. I wouldn't be so sure about peace, man. He could come back at any moment again. So Yoda kicks us off with some nice exposition about what's been going on since. <laughs> the gang is on Kashyyyk, about to celebrate Life Day with Chewbacca and his family. Yeah, remember them from the original holiday special? However, Finn and Rey are off doing their own thing at the moment. She's training Finn to become a Jedi- Wait, she trains other people now? The fuck? So Rey is training Finn much like how Obi-Wan trained Luke. Finn's feeling a little shy though because the one thing that wasn't retconned from Ryan Johnson's movie is watching him. Rey tells him to remember that a Jedi must let go. But Finn's idea of letting go is pulling up the blindfold and cutting the remote in half. Oh yeah! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Full of the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. I don't understand. This is everything I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, she's reading from... The sacred Jedi text! Wait, I thought Yoda burned those. Anyway, I'm sorry, Rey. I may have misjudged you. I thought you were pulling these things you were never personally taught out of your ass. Ah, oh, what am I missing? Why can't I train him? Maybe it's because... We do not grant you the rank of master. Rey tries to get answers by meditating when the biggest contrivance since every fight scene in The Flash happens. Please watch my video if you don't know what I'm talking about. One of the... Sacred Jedi texts! Falls open right on the page she needs to know what to do next. Turns out, for a Jedi to figure out their future, they need to go to some temple where they'll find a key to the galaxy's past. But this can only be done once a year on a specific day. And which day is that? Only on life day. What a coincidence. If you haven't figured it out, this is Rey's excuse to leave now instead of like, tomorrow. And this is also the excuse to time travel. So Rey says she's got a dip and BB-8 decides to join her. Yes, Poe's droid. And Poe starts tearing up at the sight of his longtime pal choosing a girl over him. Oh, don't cry Poe. Rey is just known for taking things. Ray Skywalker. I'm kidding. I know these sequel trilogy characters don't like going around things, like Kylo with the space cancer. So Rey walks into the temple and Force pulls this bandaged crystal. It's the time-traveling key, and it works similarly to Doctor Strange's sling ring. You just give it a swirl and a portal opens. Now fuckle your seatbelt because the time jumping is about to begin. Rey and BB-8 clumsily fall in the portal and land in Dagobah when Yoda is training Luke. This profoundly upset me because they chose to use this Yoda and instead of this Yoda, who looks more like the Yoda from Empire. Oh, that's a lot of Toyotas. There's a lot of Toyotas. And a toy Toyota. Ooh, is that? Oh, a toy Toyota Toyota. BB-8 then gets molested, so Rey teleports them out of there. She then finally has a realization. This is how I learned to train Finn, by watching other Jedi Masters train their students. Okay. Rey then opens a portal to negotiations. A young Obi-Wan says something Cosmonaut Variety Hour would say. Who cares about a trade dispute? Qui-Gon tells him to shut up and focus on the mission. Rey teleports out of there, but leaves me behind wondering what she was supposed to learn from this moment. The next location she ends up in is a glaring mistake in this animation. This is the elevator scene from the beginning of episode 2, but both Obi-Wan and Anakin are sporting their looks from episode 3. It's Obi-Wan Kenobi! I am not re-watching the sequels just to possibly answer this, but how the hell does Rey even know who Obi-Wan is, let alone what he looked like or that he was Anakin's mentor. No, they didn't see me. Hello there. Ah! 
Ray and BB-8 then teleport to the inside of Luke's X-Wing? How? It's already crammed as fuck as it is, and have you seen how big the portals are? Use the Force, Luke. Obi-Wan Kenobi! Again, how the fuck do you know that's him? Listen to your master! Use the Force! Yes, he's getting there, shut up. We just saw Luke Skywalker blow up the Death Star. No, wait! Technically, we helped Luke Skywalker blow up the Death Star. No. The next location is the Emperor's throne room, so it isn't exactly what Rey was expecting. So she opens the portal again, her and BB-8 dip, and then super contrivance number two. The portal stays open for 17 seconds for some reason. During this time, Palpatine and Vader are talking about the portal. Palps throws a mug into the portal four seconds after Rey jumped in. And then he pushes Vader in because he wants the source of the portal. And what a contrivance! I mean, coincidence! The portal just happens to close a second after Vader went in. On the other side, Rey comes through the portal and thinks now's a good time to go home. But then Vader shows up only eight seconds after she came out of the portal, even though he jumped in about 15 seconds after Rey did. Also, hold on, the mug never even appears. Surely it would have crashed on the ground and make Rey realize she needs to close the portal before anything else comes through. Shut up, Madvocate. Stop nitpicking. <laughs> I'll tell you something, I'll tell you a secret. It isn't nitpicking. Vader jumping in the portal completely affects the rest of the plot, and it clearly should not have happened. Back on the Falcon, Chewbacca's family arrives, and it's actually the same members from the original holiday special. <laughs> Remember when Chewie's dad was watching space porn on a VR headset? Oh, oh, we are excited, aren't we? Cutting back to Rey, Vader Force pulls the crystal and collapses a bunch of boulders. Then Disney pretends that this wasn't a mistake and has Rey do it again. Not just again, they one-up it by having her throw the fucking boulders at Vader. Tug of War is engaged and I guess literally the only requirement to open a portal is spinning the crystal in any sort of way, so that's what happens. And can you tell me why the portal closes so fast after they jumped in but it stayed open for 17 fucking seconds in the throne room? Shut the fuck up, you goddamn idiot. It's a movie about space wizards. No. Then commence jumping from location to location with either hit... Any idea what the protocol is here? ...or miss dialogue. I hate you, Obi-Wan! Careful, Anakin. Anger leads to hate, and hate leads to- I know what it leads to! Idiot! <laughs> This pandemonium ultimately ends up with Vader taking the crystal. And hey, the mug that never actually fell out of the portal earlier today. Oh yeah, Farmer Luke is here too. They're delivered to Palpatine, who chooses to go 30 years into the future, confident that he'll see himself as Emperor still. But he's severely disappointed when he's greeted by the inbred baby of Jar Jar Abrams and Ruin Johnson. And Emperor Palpatine? I don't believe it! How are you even here? Somehow Palpatine returned. <sighs> Poor BB-8. Wait, are you trying to tell me there's actually something Ray can't do? Sexist. Meanwhile, on the Falcon. Where's my boyfriend? A good question. For another time. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I thought Chewbacca had a wife. Meanwhile, after Kylo tells Palpatine that Vader betrays him in the future, Palpatine brings Kylo back with him to the throne room as his new apprentice, convinced that Kylo would never betray him. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the temple, Rey sits around defeated, when all of a sudden... Hey yo, where the fuck were you this whole time? Thanks to Ruin and JJ, it's now canon that Force Ghosts can physically interact with the real world, so why weren't you helping when the crystal was at stake? Yoda then takes Rey on a magic carpet ride to show her that failure is the greatest teacher. Yes, the same theme that was shoehorned in The Last Jedi. He takes her to the Falcon where her friends are when this happens. Look out! Where'd you learn that? Ray taught me to be mindful of my surroundings. Ray's a good teacher. What do you mean, where did he learn that? 
He just stopped a Christmas tree from falling over with a stick. Also, it's not like Finn was the only one who saw the tree falling over. Everyone else did too. He's just the only one who did something about it. That's not really being mindful of your surroundings. That was just thinking quick on your feet. But the real new lesson that Yoda wants to teach Rey is that knowledge and training are useless without you friendship. Friend. Friendship is what shall save the day. But I thought Rey and Finn were already friends. So to get back to Vader and the Emperor, Rey realizes she already had the power all along, whatever that means. Which I guess gives her the idea to create her own fucking portal, with these crystals in the wall that were never established earlier. Did the writers of Rise of Skywalker write this too? Somehow Palpatine returned. Back on the Death Star, Palpatine tells Kylo he needs to throw Vader and Luke down the reactor shaft when they arrive. But Rey and Farmer Luke teleport there first, and a fight ensues. And then, super contrivance number three. During the fight, this happens. Fine, destroy the girl first. Oh, and if Vader ever bothers to show up, destroy him too. Wait, what? Okay, first of all, why did Palpatine say that again? He just told Kylo to kill Vader a minute ago. This isn't new information. Do you understand the plan? When Vader returns with Skywalker, I grab them and I chuck them both in the reactor. Second, how the fuck did he not see Vader right in front of him? Vader is right next to Kylo when he looks at him and says that. What did you mean by destroy Vader too? Um... Wow, it's almost as if they really wanted Vader to find out Palpatine betrayed him, so they did it in the laziest way possible. I said, oh, what a great entrance! Oh! <laughs> Ray caught it? <laughs> She hasn't even been to take up of her training! Rey sends Kylo's ass back to his room. Palpatine does what should have happened in Rise of Skywalker. Then she, Luke, and Palpatine engage in a force threesome, and the conflict is resolved like this. Luke, do you remember the first Jedi lesson you ever learned? Let go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, get off of me! Where are you going? To put you back where you belong. Well, not you, you. God, forgive me. I'm done taking orders from you. As Palpy falls through the shaft, he has a moment of clarity and repents of his sins. But it's a little too late for that. Just kidding, he'll be back. Somehow. Somehow Palpatine returned. I have died before. Ray puts everyone back in their respective places and goes home. So did you find what you were looking for at the temple? Turns out what I was looking for was right here. Uh, okay, how exactly is knowing that gonna help you become a better trainer? Poe starts crying because he still hasn't shared a gay moment with Finn, but this bitch gets to put her hands all over him. And then everyone has a good time. Hey yo, why the fuck didn't you two help? And that's all, folks. Now the answer to the question you've all been waiting for. Was this worse than the original holiday special? Yes. Oh!